Welcome back to LimQ Plus, everyone. On this channel, I'm 100%ing Breath of the Wild by a bit every day until Tears of the Kingdom comes out, which is today in four days. Today, I'm a little bit late. I will be honest, usually these videos release quite a bit earlier. As always, little warning, Tears of the Kingdom has leaked, which is the reason comments on this channel are disabled. The reason I am late today is because I just finished the entire production on my last Breath of the Wild main channel video. And that video is going to be my final Breath of the Wild speedrunning showcase, which will release tomorrow evening on my main channel, LimCube. I thought it might actually be a good idea to get some of these locked chests here, by the way, as I have pretty much nothing else to do. Um, and that is actually technically a form of permanent progression. So why not? Um, but yeah, so I finished the production of that video. It is almost a four hour video. I edited down my entire All Shrines speedrun and that's going to be available tomorrow on my main channel, just LimCube. If you want something to watch for this last week, oh, uh, then that's what you can check out. Check out LimCube tomorrow evening. It should be a pretty exciting video. I think I did a good job on editing down the run to it, for it to be interesting. And then also... Um, it was just a pretty solid run where I explain you everything that the speedrun community has kind of come up with in the time of playing Breath of the Wild. That's so quickly uh, to mention this because this is this is why the video is late. I was sitting in front of my PC. It was uh, like exporting the entire day. It's like a 45 gigabyte file. Um, anyway, I'm not going to make a big video today, uh, mainly just because of how busy I've been today. I recorded the voiceover for it. So I've sat here for four hours uh, talking constantly about um, my favorite speedrun of all time. Again, I'm excited to show it off tomorrow. Also really excited for the thumbnail. But um, I wanted to kind of give you my experience of the last days. I already talked yesterday about games I've, playing, I've been playing recently. Uh, how it feels like to avoid Tears of the Kingdom spoilers. Because it feels weird. I was actually chatting to a bunch of other community members, like Ratatoska and other people that are also avoiding spoilers, my friends and even like other speedrunners that are trying to go into Tears of the Kingdom blindly. And I'm sure a bunch of you that are watching this video right now are in the same boat. You have waited for Tears of the Kingdom ever since it was announced in 2019 and have been extremely excited for it. And now you've just sat here for maybe a week almost already, knowing that people out there are playing that game and potentially have already beaten it and you sit here and you have to still wait. And it sucks. I understand that it sucks. Like I said before, I, from the same perspective, kind of understand the people that decided to play it. In my mind, it kind of makes sense, like legal issues aside and them potentially all getting sued. Um, that's a completely different topic. But for the exact same reason, it does kind of make sense to me, right? We've been waiting for this game for four years now. Uh, me on my Twitch channel, I talked about this literally in that video today. It's been a topic my entire career. This, this moment being so close is absolutely surreal. So having sat here for one week, knowing that it's technically out there, not being able to play it was weird. And it was weird. It was very weird at first, but it's becoming less and less weird. And in fact, for me, it's been, it's been getting kind of good. Um, and let me explain what I mean. And maybe this is gonna give some of you some encouragement. We have waited years for this game. Does it really matter to wait three more days? Does it really matter that some people are one week maybe ahead of us? We are playing Breath of the Wild right now. Lots of us are. Lots of us are, are revisiting it. It is a game of the century. A game where we still to this day find out things. So does it really matter? Does that one week really matter? Yes, this week right now might f feel annoying. And I feel extremely sorry for people that are kind of chronically online, which is usually me as well. You have to understand, my livelihood is literally being online, posting things on YouTube, Twitter, live streaming. I haven't been live streaming. That's my job. I haven't done it in order to not get spoiled for Tears of the Kingdom. I'm essentially literally losing money to avoid getting spoiled. It's a literal income. It's going to be an income difference. Well, maybe not because Tears of the Kingdom is going to be pretty hype. So maybe the rest of the month is going to go well in terms of streams and subs. But like, I'm essentially losing money due to these leaks. And not necessarily due to the leaks because I could be covering them and make a bunch of clickbait videos on them or whatever. And then maybe would get money. But that's obviously not what it's about. What I mean is I don't mind waiting 
This is far beyond a job. The reason this game is my job, the reason Tears of the Kingdom is going to stay my job for some time at least, depending on how well it goes, depending on how much I like the game, is because this is like my biggest passion. I absolutely love this game and I'm going to enjoy it with most people in the world as it comes as it comes out on Friday, as it goes live. I have been I have stayed completely spoiler free. I have not seen a single thing ever since May 1st where I unintentionally saw something on Twitter, which is the second I decided to leave, leave social media. And the the more the the closer the game gets now, the more excited I am that I didn't see anything. It's going to be extremely exciting to like, like for the pe the people that have seen it, the people that have seen the leaks. It, it's already over for them. It, it, they have already seen it. The, the the wonder and the mystery is gone, and I'm sure they enjoyed it. But I'm so excited that I still have yet to experience that part. And then later on, we can talk to these people. We can we can talk to the people that have played the game early. We will essentially be at the same level. I'm going to be honest with you and maybe leave out a cocky comments here, but I will still be able to get better at the ga at the game. That than the people that played it early. And I'm not even naturally talented at video games. I just like them so much that I play them so much that I'm not worried about the fact that I'm a week or so behind. I will be playing the game so much that I catch up or whatever. And then one other fact that I never want to talk about when it comes to avoiding spoilers is kind of like a consequential thing. What, what comes with avoiding spoilers, which for me was, I have already talked about this in a, in a previous video. I have literally blocked Twitter on my PC because I have this muscle memory thing. It happened like four times since I blocked it, where I would just type in twitter.com on my browser, kind of because that's my habit. That's just what I do. I get bored, I scroll the timeline. Uh, not seeing all of the negativity, not having to read comments sometimes. And by the way, most people on this channel here, uh, I love reading the comments on LimQ+. Uh, I don't get as many people, uh, I don't get as many German people that are upset over the fact that I sound German. That they are much more common on the main channel, I guess because those videos get more clicks. And as, as much as I don't really mind because I'm obviously aware of the way I sound, it's, it's still always frustrating. Um, so, so not having to read any like negativity and especially Twitter, like negativity on Twitter is probably the worst. There's like so much toxic stuff going on there. Uh, feels really good. Like I feel like I'm healing, <laughs> which might sound a little bit extreme, but I've been doing good. I, um, prepared all of my meals for this week today. I was productive. I made a really cool thumbnail, um, for the... YouTube video that's coming out tomorrow and uh, I felt I feel really good about it. It feels like a really nice departure So that makes me feel uh, Good and then yeah, just like not streaming not making any videos other than these for fun videos on this channel It feels nice. It, it's kind of like, a, it, like I feel like I'm almost glad that it leaked because at this point because if it didn't then I would have continued to make theory videos talk about the game in my discord post theories on Twitter talk to people but I just kind of stopped. I, I, I just completely left everything. And I think this is almost what I needed. I think I'm as excited, more excited for Tears of the Kingdom than ever. It, it's going to hit me more every single day. When I was recording the last lines of my YouTube video today, I almost got kind of emotional because it is the end of a huge era and the game is so close. As soon as we go to bed today, some of you, for some of you, it's already Monday in the world. But as soon as we uh, wake up tomorrow, it'll be the week we play Tears of the Kingdom. And that is absolutely wild to me. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for the day. I kind of wanted to do a recap on what it's like to avoid Tears of the Kingdom spoilers and how it's kind of like changed my outlook to the game and even increased my excitement for the game coming out soon. If you want to, tomorrow on my LimCube main channel, you can find my last Breath of the Wild video before we move on to the Tears of the Kingdom era. I'm pretty proud of it. So if you want something to watch throughout the week, you could check that out. Uh, also, again, if you subscribe to my main channel, it would mean a lot. I'm very close to 100,000 subscribers there which has obviously been a goal for quite some time. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Maybe have a cozy Sunday evening. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow in the Tears of the Kingdom week. Peace.